Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at maximum. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You're wasting your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello. Wow, that was incredibly loud. I apologize for that. Hello and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David. Screwing the show over immediately. <laughs> Not even a minute in and I'm already blowing your eardrums. I apologize. I am sorry. That was an accident. I turned it up a little bit too loud. Anyway, joining me this week, we have a relatively small crew. We have just the hosts, no guests whatsoever. We have Amy. Hello. We have Stuart. I'm dying. We have Eugene. Hello. And we have back from the dead for the reckoning and the third time Scarecrow. Greetings. He's awake. No, no, no. I've got to do this right. He's awake. Awake. He's alive. I don't know about that. That's that's what I was referencing. (laughs) No. I still want his hairline. Uh. So, so anyway, this week on the podcast, we are talking top five freaky aliens, and if we have enough time left, we're going to talk about what we think Spaceballs 2 should spoof. Trust me, there is a lot. Oh god, yes. Oh yeah. So, let's kick it off with our top fives. So, I'll start off. Number one. We have... Where's my list? I've lost my list. My list is on my screen and I can't find it. There it is. Okay. For my number five is The Bugs from the original Men in Black movie, the giant-ass freaky cockroach thing. Yeah. They're literally known as The Bugs. They have no species name. They're just known as Bugs. So. Makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. What's next? Stuart, go. Uh, my number five is The Blob. The Blob? The Blob. From what? Really? You don't know what the blob is from? Yes. The movie is called The Blob. Not good enough. Uh, it's, it was released in 1988. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I yeah, saw that and just went, oh no, delete. No, that wasn't an alien. Oh, it's still freaky. I'll allow it, because to be honest, it's taken him like four hours to make the list so far. So, I don't want to waste another four while he waits and looks for another one. <laughs> so, anyway, I've been watching too much Star Trek. I'm channeling my captain, Kirk. Anyway, moving right along. Amy, number f- five, go. Um, the fat things. The fat from, things. The, from Doctor Who. The adipose? Things that made out your fat. Yeah, the adipose. Adipose. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good way to lose weight until you actually see it happening and then it's just sort of you're permanently mentally scarred for life. Alright, Scarecrow. What's your number uh, five? In all honesty, the original Klingons from Star Trek. The, the original Klingons from the original series, the ones that didn't have any head markings whatsoever, they were just effectively blackface. Exactly. I'm just going to leave that alone and move right along to Eugene, number five. <laughs> I'll go with the Plan 9 from Outer Space Vampire. Ooh. Yeah, that that's, that's just throwing back so far nowadays. Stuart's going back to the 80s, you're going back to Plan 9. It's just, yeah. Oh, I'm going to keep in the 80s for a while. Oh, God. On the plus side, at least my next one is from also the 80s. <laughs> so, actually, my next two are from the 80s, hilariously. So, my my number four, the Sarlacc. Because what is more terrifying than a giant hole in the sand that just sort of goes... Nom, 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 nom. I'm sorry, I can't take this the Sarlacc any seriously anymore after watching Deadpool vs. Boba Fett epic rap battles of history and, yeah. de- and Deadpool calling it a, a, a toothy coochie. Yeah. 
That's a fair point. It, <laughs> but to be honest, for us, a, a, for a stationary, stationary hole in the ground, it still managed to eat Boba Fett three times. Yeah. That's that's Im- that's impressive by any standards. Yeah, or really, really pathetic on Boba Fett's behalf. Probably yeah, more Boba of Fett. that one. Boba Fett. Boba Where? Fett. Boba ah! Fett. Boba Fett. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hashtag worst death ever. Okay. He's not dead, so. Death question mark ever? Yeah. So, okay, Amy, you can do your number four now. <laughs> she does. The... Uh. I know what it is, but I can't think of how to pin- um, say its name. Just it's... describe it. You, um, it's all cute and sweet, and then you d- dump a bucket of water, cup, wet it. Gremlins. <laughs> yes, gremlins. Don't get them wet and don't feed them after midnight. Yeah, but isn't it always after midnight? Fair point. Is it like after midnight before the sun rises? Because that's slightly more specific. It wouldn't help. Anyway, Scarecrow number four. Let's see. Sand people. He only chose that so Stuart would do the noise. I love the sound people noise. <laughs> oh. And the Jawas. Jawas. J- just because uh. me and Jody have made jokes about them now? Wow. From now on, all I can picture is you and Jody as Jawas. <laughs> Cu- <No>. Couple <laughs> cosplay for the win. What what's the Jawa's favorite drink? Martini. What, what's their favorite spaghetti? Linguini. There's pages of this. Please stop, or you're going <laughs> out the airlock. Actually, no. Screw it. Keep going, so I can throw you out the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> there was one more, but I forgot it. So Crap. I thought you said those pages of this, and then it's like, oh, there's only one more. It's like he I mean, said one poem. But he forgot it. So, anyway, Stuart, what's your number four? The Thing. The Thing? Why would you be so mean to Scarecrow? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Someone call an ambulance. Hmm. I'm feeling a little crispy after that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all going to feel a little crispy by the end of the day. Yeah. yeah it's going gonna, it's gonna to get warm. So... If we go outside, we'll feel crispy. Oh no, I'm staying inside. It's it's that sort of moment where it's like, I wonder how warm it is outside. You open the door a tiny little sliver, you close <gasps> it, and you're two face. Oh wow. And I'm going up to Bribe Island. You poor uh, bastard. Uh, you will be the thing after that. Yep. <laughs> so okay, Eugene, number four. I'm gonna go with Lost in Space, and being you said only one alien per series, I'll go with the carrot. The carrot. Wow. For some reason, that made me think of South Park. Oh, God. You know, the, I can't think of what the actor's name is, but he was in, like, The Animal and stuff, and it's like, this season, in this movie, he plays a carrot. And you just see him jumping around in a carrot suit. And later on the same episode, they called him... A, he was he was the stapler, and he was just the person in a giant staple suit. I can't remember what his name was. The act, That actor's name. Yeah. It's very, very weird. But yeah, anyway, that made me think of that. <laughs> Fucking dude dressed in a carrot suit running around. <sighs> okay, let's move on to number three. We'll go to Scarecrow. Number three. Hmm. Good one. Never heard of that. What's that for? No, no, no. Okay, this one's going to sound strange. Um, from an anime, the recent androids used in Space Battleship Yamato 2199. Okay, yeah, don't... don't they were a bit on the freaky side. Yeah, no, I, don't, I haven't seen that, but I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Eugene, number three. I'm going to go with, from season two of Lo- um, Sp- Space 1999, the Moss Monster. That's not what they called it, but it looked literally like... Like a walking moss thing. Why are you being so mean to Stuart? Why would you call Stuart a moss monster? Ah. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll take it back. He he is a moss monster. Ah. 
So, so yeah. Moss Monster, nice. Yeah, Amy, what's your number uh, three? The alien from Stel Stelvia. From what? It looks like Anime. a slug. Oh. Yeah, I don't know that one. So, move on to Stuart. Number three. Number three, the Solarian from Mass Effect. Oh. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. I'm sorry, species Durian, I'm sorry. I'm I'll stop. I do have the lyrics up on my screen. That's <sighs> Oh, Security, sorry. can we just just throw him in the airlock just for the moment, please? Just don't don't let him out. Just throw him in there. See, this is what happens when you have half an hour of sleep and it's thirty-two degrees heat. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. I really do. Okay, my number three is the Alpha One Seven Seven K Nine, Alpha One Hundred Seventy Seven K Nine, which is the from the original series of Star Trek. It is a dog with a horn. And the reason I call that freaky that. is because every time I see it, I laugh. <laughs> you were just thinking about it, I was trying not to laugh. Uh. <laughs> I guess that's one horny dog. <laughs> but um, Can we airlock him as well? well if you want to be airlock brothers, I, I won't oppose, and I'm sure Amy will want to watch. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you better go along with it, damn it. Okay, moving on to number two. I'll let Stuart do number two first. Shit. <laughs> I'll let Amy do number two first. <laughs> <laughs> I know what number one is, I'm trying to number two. <laughs> um, <sighs> oh, actually, no, I take that back. I have a number two. Oh, does it smell? Oz Crow. As Crow. Um. What? Are you trying to say Asgard? Yeah. I, I think we broke Amy. <laughs> Amy, Amy bot has been broken. Please rebuild. Yeah. yeah. Let me try turning her off and on again. Um, That's my I'm job. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was going to say anything. I was just, le I'm just gonna leave it there. Wait for Scarecrow to bite. <laughs> Why did you find it? And the Asgard's are it's freaky. I, I, I didn't see anything wrong with uh, Thor. You know, carrying around that hammer and stuff. But of course, I, I personally Trump, prefer if there's a girlfriend. From Stargate. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually going to take the same path, Eugene, and then I just sort of let it be. Open, on the other hand, though, that's a whole scary thing. Well, I didn't hear her say Stargate to start with. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> that's why I was sort of leaving it. <laughs> I was thinking if someone else would do it. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the Asgard with the, 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 the giant ass muscles and the. The really kick-ass looking plate mail armor and the giant hammer. I could see why you would consider him freaky. <laughs> Definitely. Marshmallow head. Oh, you mean the Asgards from Stargate! The ones with the tiny, with the giant ass beady black eyes and they walk around naked and have no junk. Pretty much. They're all clones. Yeah. Clones of clones of clones of clones of clones of clones of clones. You'd think that would keep an original DNA sample somewhere that won't degrade. They did that's... find a, they did find a sample at one point. Yeah, I know, but it was too late. Also, that just sounds like a family from Tasmania. Oh god. Hey uh, guys. The views are still it, not necessarily the views are same side. <laughs> or or anyone with a brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stuart is see, Stuart is secretly jealous of all those from Tasmania. He wants to be like them. He just can't admit it. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> okay, number two for me is the Ritu, also from Stargate SG-1. Um, they were the aliens that were out of phase, and it messed with the ghoul if they went anywhere near them. Um, but they needed you needed a TR to sort of light them up so you could see them, shoot them and kill them. So, yeah. they, they looked freaky out when they finally showed them. So... Who's left to do number twos? I haven't done uh, one. I am. I don't think I've done mine yet. Okay, Eugene, number two. I'm for I'm throwing another vampire on my list. The space vampire from Buck Rogers. Do I wow. have to send Sam and Dean over to your place? <laughs> Just vampires. Vampires everywhere. You I'll want send... it freaky, they fit the bill. I'm not disagreeing. <laughs> 
you have a vampire problem, well, I can just send Sam and Dean over to, to deal with it for you. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I, I think I'd rather have the damn fear, Buffy, and uh, Blade. Yeah, that would also work. Okay, S Scarecrow, number two. Number two for me. Um, oh, snap! No, that's not an alien. That was my back. <laughs> <laughs> and Scarecrow's broken. <laughs> do, do, do you need another another post to put in the ground to strap yourself to, by any chance? Would that funny. help? <laughs> Very funny, mate. Um, it really wasn't. Shit. <laughs> I'd have to say the aliens from Independence Day. Yeah, those guys were cool. Cool, yet scary as hell. Ooh, yeah, telekinetic, you. sort of ridiculously strong. They could go full hentai if they wanted to. Yeah, it was the tentacles that did it for me. It was the tentacles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, yes. I had to say it. I had to say it. All right, Stuart, since it's finally your turn again, what's your <laughs> number two? Have you uh, worked it out yet? Yes. I'm going a little obscure with this. Uh, my number two is the Chiss from Star Wars. The what? The Chiss. The Chiss are um, uh, better known for the race of, of um, is uh, Grand, Ar Grand Admiral Thrawn from the Legends um, books. Ah, They're... yes. Thrawn was in uh, Empire War Force of Corruption. Yes. Blue guy. Yes. Freaky looking dude, yeah. Yep. He sort Terrif of reminded me of... Terrifyingly smart. Reminded me of Darth Maul, but instead of red and black, he was like blue and grey. Yeah, and terrifyingly as... smart. And nowhere near as horny. <laughs> so... Yeah. Oh yeah. Just the, I remember the reading the books and then actually seeing a picture for the first time as a kid. I was like, ha ha ha. Oh, I'm terrified. Yeah, I'm just hoping you have to leave that alone and just not come back. Okay, moving right along. Let's do number one. Starting with Eugene. Eugene. Well, you laughed hysterically when you saw what it was. So, I said Power Rangers, Rita and Zed. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I am free! It's time to conquer Earth! Alpha, Reedy's escape. Crew the team of teenagers with this attitude. Ay, 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 ay! So pick up with you, Alpha. <laughs> oh, man. That brings back memories. Terrifying, terrifying, scarring memories. <laughs> they have some creepy monsters. I don't know oh, if you yeah. can call them aliens, but monsters on Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. Like this one time... The... Well, depending on... Yeah. Depending on which series, yeah. Depending on which season you watch, some are aliens, some are monsters. Yeah, well, I remember Rita used to make them out of clay and then sort of... <laughs> make my monster grow! Yeah. I'm just like, what the hell? The only one I can remember... And... This is because it was on a VHS we recorded it on, and it used to be after the 90s Godzilla movie. We recorded it after that. And, um, what it was, was it was that turtle thing that could oh. make things go faster, slower, or just stop altogether. And, yeah, it was just like, what the hell? Do you remember there's a yellow ranger was stuck on fast forward mode and had to run up a mountain to find a random flower <laughs> to sprinkle the juju on people to fix them. It's like, what the shit? That is, is the only enemy I can remember from Power Rangers. I'm not gonna ask why we worry about you. Yeah, I know. And yeah. So number one, Amy. Alien from Alien Predator vs Predator. Fuck! The Xenomorph Alien. <laughs> Xenomorph <laughs> Alien is definitely freaky. Definitely freaky. I so, just love Stuart's reaction because I think you stole his. <laughs> uh, Stuart, I, let me guess, Stuart, your number one is Predator? <laughs> no, my number one was going to be Alien. Yeah, fuck it, we'll go with Predator. <laughs> 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 I was sitting on that for so long. Uh, See, I was, no, I randomly 
Uh, I, was I, I was mainly doing it just because of the space walls reference. Uh, oh yeah, so I love the space walls reference. You get there that bursts out of the out of the dude's chest. He's like, Hello, not again. Hello, Death across the counter. <laughs> Hello, my sweet tanga. It could be worse. It could be the face huggers. <laughs> oh god, uh. I have a terrifying story about that actually. Check please. <laughs> 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 one, t one time it was uh, very early on in my cosplay uh, days as a Jedi, I was doing cosplay chess. Oh it was, god. It was towards the end of the match, and someone, and we don't know who it was, but someone chucked a face hugger on the ground in the middle of the chessboard, <laughs> and everyone just turned and starts attacking the face hugger. <laughs> well. I have no idea if there's video of it anywhere, but it's hilarious. What the hell? Uh. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on to number one. Scarecrow, number one. Okay, another anime one from me. From the... Horror Gasp. Haha. Uh, the ELS from Gundam 00. Waking of the Trailblazer. Oh, God. No one knows what that is. It's a basically a chunk of metal that impacts on you, and either turns you into a crystal, or... Mimics what, mimics what you're piloting and kills you while it does it, and then becomes you. But yeah. attacks your friends. Okay, yeah, that old grant you is freaky. So anyway, so we've all done number one. Sweet, my number one is Pizza the Hut, because mm, pizza. And because he ate himself to death. Yeah, which was hilarious. Pizza that was found. That, I was so not expecting how they killed him off. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> so rude. Hello, my baby. Oh, so, so stupid. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and of course, the liquid Schwartz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yogurt. Uh, and Barf. I like the dog, Barf. Barf. He's his own best friend. He's half man, half dog. He's his own best friend. <laughs> That's uh, sad. Yeah, the, the dude that played <laughs> That's the definition of loneliness. Yeah. But being a being part dog, it means he gets really excited about it. <laughs> Are you gonna do any honorable mentions? Yep. Or go for it. Honorable mentions. Go. Uh, body uh body snatches. Yeah. Pretty messed up. Yeah. I would have to go with Flood. Oh god. The missions on Halo. Yeah. Have you ever played um Screw the Flood? There's a There's a gamma setting you can sort of dial if you've got a newer TV you can sort of dial it the, the, the fuck around with the color settings. Make it really dark and then play that Halo th the second last or third second last level on Halo 3 when you rescue Cortana. Oh, and yeah. And you're going through the flood-infested ship. You dial the, the the visibility on that, like, way down so it's really dark. That is the most terrifying thing in the universe. You're not meant to jump scare yourself, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think it's so fun to do? Honorable mention for me. Trakina from Power Rangers Lost in Space. Or Power Rangers in Space. Not Space. Um, Lost Galaxy. Yep. She was one... Freaky, freaky alien bitch. Oh, and then, <laughs> and then talk, and let's not mention her father. Once she came out of that damn cocoon, she was a freaky alien bitch. Yeah. Okay. Any other honorable mentions? Jack yeah, Hartness in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, just the face of Bo. Just gonna leave that alone. <laughs> Did you hear that he was originally meant to be in the episode um, where Matt Smith, what's it called, Demon's Run? He was meant to be in Demon's Run. Yes. And he was meant to lose his head in that episode. And that's where the face of Bo came from. But um, he was booked with doing something else. I can't remember what it was. Might was have been, that? Might have been Arrow. I can't remember. Oh, I said it could have been early. It could have been early Arrow or it could have been like End of Torchwood as well. Yeah. No, it was... I think it was after Torchwood, long after Torchwood was finished. And if he was working on Torchwood, they would have stolen him off that to... Fair point. Probably to... could have been early Arrow. Yeah, I can't remember. But I just remember he was busy and couldn't make it. And yeah, so... 
they sort of cut that. So anyway, just not his head this time. Yeah, that's honorable mentions done. Unless you, Jane's got one. Uh, I was going to say a couple of the aliens from uh, the Godzilla films. Yeah, they can be weird. Not as weird as Godzilla itself, but still pretty weird. <laughs> How many well, Giganotosaurus? So, who? Okay, ultimate death battle combat. Who would win? Godzilla, the Green Megazord, or the Death Sora? Green Megazord does not have a chance in hell. No offense. As <laughs> much as I love it, it's a mech. It will get its ass handed to it by the other two, and they'll then turn on each other and probably. I don't Just know. destroy the entire Earth. Uh, depends on which version of Godzilla we're talking about. The, True. The, the proper version of Godzilla, not the American Godzilla. Well, even then, there's about f five versions of the Japanese Godzilla. Whatever's the strongest. Uh, the, you'd be talking the later ones. Yeah. And he would pretty much hand any of the others their ass. Yeah. So. Yeah. I still love that Godzilla was... Although, the Death Sora <laughs> might give it some hassle. Yeah. <laughs> some hassle. I just love that, that Godzilla is, is the official tourism for Japan. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just love it how the unicorn is the official animal for Scotland. Uh, that's, that, that is... That's not even... That's so beyond rebel. It's like, yeah, you guys and your pissy real animals, we're gonna go for a fake one. They at least go for a fake one because they've met gone for something a, a little more better. Uh, ours, has got, ours has got to be better than yours and hornier than yours and the rhino's taken, so... Unicorn. Wait, what? <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> so, anyway. Let's jump over and do the model report really quickly. Alright. For this week's model report, I decided to try something different. Um, Did we lose him again for the most? No, nope. it's produced from that. Yeah, and Marvel's so, 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 uh, Eugene, you're hot. breaking up hardcore again. Uh, I know. Okay, me, you, you decided to do something on. different, and then whoop, you were gone. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this. Is this any better? Yep. Okay. Um, most TV shows don't get model kits produced from them. So, for this week, I thought I'd cover um, conversions that people are doing for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Nice. Um, the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. utilizes a lot of real items, and those you can get models of. For starters, Agent Coulson's um, beloved Lola, Lola. You can't, there is a model kit from Ravel Monogram of his um, his car. You would just have to paint it the uh, candy apple red, and Brad Hare Productions has a vacuform conversion kit that you can put it in flight mode. Nice. Uh huh. Um, then, uh, while it no longer exists, from season one and season two of Agents of Shield, their main mode of transportation was the bus. Well, the bus, um, you can get the model of the C-17 Globemaster, which is now out of production, but Ravel Monogram and Ravel Germany both had that kit out. And there's two ways you can turn that into the bus. Brad Hare Productions, once again, has a conversion kit for it, or I provided a link to somebody's page where he goes through step-by-step step saying, here's how to convert two Globemasters into the bus. Nice. And mm -hmm. all of that can be found on uh, facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast. Right. Uh, the last item I was able to find was um, the Iliad. Looks like it's 
which was the aircraft carrier from season two, um, that looks like it's just a, a standard Amer United States aircraft carrier. So, and it uses the registry numbers of the USS John C. Stennis. Yeah. So, you know, you can you can build an aircraft carrier and you would Black have that shield badge on it, and you're good to go. Ser yeah. Seriously, for a secret organization, they're about as good as the Autobots at hiding their identity. True. So, so the Autobots drive around with giant ass Autobot badges on them. You're robots in disguise, guys. You're meant to be hiding. That does not help anybody. <laughs> that is that doesn't hide very well. Yeah. Well, and, and not uh, that the Decepticons were much better. Yeah, and the and the Agents of Shield guys are the most super top secret agency of all time, that have shield badges on everything they own. It's like guys, I think you misunderstand the point of the word secret. Just just saying. And in a future report, I'll cover uh, Transformer model kits. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, but this report was brought to you by Perry County Hobbies. Excellent. Model report. Excellent. Now it's time to move on to our second main topic. What should Spaceballs spoof? And how should they spoof it? Burn it with fire. Mercilessly. I have an idea and I know you're going to hate it straight away. Oh god. So you you remember the uh, the uh, infamous uh, TV thing? How it kept doing that loop? The 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 VHS. Yeah. Yeah. Since we are a lot further into the future, we have DVDs now. They have a DVD of of pixels. No. Just no. <laughs> I knew you were gonna hate it. No. See, I, I liked where you were going with that, and I was thinking, no, it would be funnier is if they had access to Space Tube, which was like YouTube from space, <laughs> and um, they've they've got a it's, it's it's and it's like a camera, like a hand cam version of the movie, and it says <laughs> Spaceballs Two Leaked. Oh, you mean like a Cloverfield style? Oh, no, no, hand cam. Yeah, and it's, it's a hand, ca hand, hand cam from like look in a cinema of of the movie, and they're like, what the hell quality is this? <laughs> Sort of, they zoom forward on the play bar to. This is. Wait, is this now? Yes, that's now. Really? Yes. Huh? And do that, do that scene again, and then sort of skip the play bar forward again. See where I was going with the pixel. I know you hate it, but just at least let me finish. So yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'll let you finish, and then I'll throw up. <laughs> <laughs> is that they start playing it, and then they just look at the, they just look at the camera and go. On. What were people thinking in 2015? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, not a lot. So, uh, clearly, they have to, clearly Force Awakens is going to get spooked. Oh yeah, it has to. Considering that that the secondary name is the Swartz Awakens. Um, they, oh, I thought it was the Quest for More Money. Yeah, it's, it's, it is the Quest for More Money, but there's a second. The second working title is the the Swartz Awakens. Oh, there's, okay. there's two. There's two ti work titles they're sort of playing around with. Anyway. Um, one of the things that I reckon they should spoof is Avatar. Oh God! Which one? Doesn't really matter. James Cameron Avatar. Yeah. Not, I don't, I don't not think Airbender. he meant last. I meant just somehow I knew he. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we talk. We talk at sci-fi, not fantasy. So obviously, I mean the, the blue people, aliens. Never a really funny thing, which I know would never happen, but I really, I wish it would. I'll, just for some way to do some sort of Code Lyoko reference. <laughs> no. Like they, have to, like they have to upload this themselves into some sort of system or something. No, no, I just thought of something hilarious. You know how at the end of the first movie they crash on the planet of the apes? Oh! But yeah. Use the new CG, Planet of the Apes Apes, as part of that, and just be, and have them sort of say... They look totally different than when we first landed here. It's like, yeah, they got rebooted. <laughs> and just be like, it's like, wow. Well. <laughs> Greasy eyed. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, but yeah, they've definitely got to do Avatar because it was one of the biggest sci fi movies recently. Um, but. Do you think they'll do Martian? Oh, well, don't think so. It'll be, be fairly hard to spoof the Martian. Unless, um, what's his face? 
Han Solo, whatever his name was. Lone Star. Lone Star. I got oh, it. Oh, yeah, he's like on exile on like Mars or something. Yeah. No, no, they've got to finish Spaceballs 2 with a random person finding Lone Star in the middle of, um, like, say, Mar- like a Martian style. It's like, if you've got to spoof, spoof the Martian. And of Spaceballs 2, you see the, the new person that's replacing Lone Star walking through the, um, this desert, comes up to this, this house or structure or something that's there, walks up, pulls out a Swartz ring and sort of holds it up towards him, sort of like what happened with, um, Ray and Luke, Ray and Luke sort like of so. thing. And I just, I just have him just sort of standing there, turn around and you see that he's holding a, a, some, some carrots. Not carrots, sorry, potatoes. <laughs> and it's just covered in mud. And it cuts back to the person with the ring. And it's like, oh, what is that smell? Oh, what are you fertilizing that with? Oh, that's nasty. I want anything to do with you. And they just have to turn around and walk away. <laughs> well, that begs the question, will they do the, uh, the killing off scene? Well, they might do it, but they'll probably do it for bath. Kill a bath? Well, the dude that played oh. bath is dead, so they So oh, yeah. I got a sneaking suspicion if they're gonna spoof that scene, they would spoof it with bath in a flashback. Who do you get to play Snoke or, or what? It'd be really funny if, if, if instead of Supreme Leader Snoke in the movie, they call him Supreme Leader Snake. <laughs> they'd have it look like Voldemort! <laughs> no, no, no. Supreme Leader Snape. 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 And then have him sing Snape. Snape. Sir. No, just no. But yeah, like, you've got Interstellar, but you can't sort of spoof Interstellar. Um, you could, I could see him spoofing Independence Day or Stargate, because they could were they both... spoof Prometheus? That would be hilarious. <laughs> what about Atlantis? No, I don't think they'll do the T... I don't think they'll, they'll spoof TV shows. They'll, Just, oh, that wouldn't surprise no. me if they spoofed the MCU at some point, or Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> wouldn't spoof, surprise me. Spoof Fantastic Four and just make it sub- make it better. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I just had a really good idea. Spoof Guardians of the Galaxy and have Star-Lord as Lone Star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would so work. <laughs> that would perfectly work. And then, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. And then the opening, the opening music is ah, hooked on the field. Uh, I know that probably never happened, but uh, oh, this makes you happy getting to talk about stuff like this. Uh, yeah, and you sort of have him dancing through a field of say flowers or something. With um, you'd have to the first like I'd I want that to be, like if we're gonna spoof Guardians of the Galaxy, have that as part of the flashback that gets Bath killed. And have Barf as sort of like um, the equivalent of Rocket Raccoon. Just that he gets killed by Darth Helmet. With a lightsaber. Through the ch- well, a sword saber through the chest. And thrown down a pit. And so, yeah. And sort of have it as that was why um, Lone Star went solo. Because he was having a lot of fun in a, in a group of people. And then the shit hit the fan, and then he went solo. And then the person that finds him, you say that might be the okay, it's opening scenes. Here's a, here, here we go. I've got, I've got an idea, it's happening. Opening scenes spoof of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, the scene where they're raiding that room to get the sphere with the Infinity Gem inside. That thing, but you've got Bath there with him as he's sort of doing his thing, going through and getting it. Um, but a lot of the bath shots will have to be from behind for this to work. Bath sees the ball floating, runs up to it, and grabs it, and as he does, you see a red swart saber cut straight through the middle of him, out the other side, towards where Lone Star is. You see Lone Star going, No! sort of thing, and it falls to the side, you see Darth Helmet, and it goes, We meet again for the, for the second time. And the last time, Lone Star, and then Lone Star wakes up, and it's, it's him on <laughs> on a on a Marsy sort of planet, using his own shit to to grow food. 
and that's when the random person with the swords ring rocks up to try and sort of get him to come back and I don't know save that planet whatever the hell the planet was called with the giant glass shield around it <laughs> made no sense no, 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 that's the planet that gets blown up by the death by the super weapon. Uh, oh, speaking of which, are we gonna have? I wonder if that makes we'll have a Mega Maid two. <laughs> yeah, super ultra, super <laughs> ultra mega King Kamehameha, Mega Maid of total annihilation and, and revenge <laughs> or something. Like you had, you have the name longer than the ship. So as it's flying past, you have it sort of, you have it like on the side of the ship, like they do with the, the different ships in different sci-fi series. But it's like the length of the ship, and then there's like a flailing sort of flag behind the ship with the rest of the name on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit bad, but. Eh. That'd be pretty bad. So. Do you think they would spoof any TV shows like Dark Matter or anything? Um, no. I don't know. I don't think so. Like, I expect them to spoof something Marvel. I expect them to spoof Transformers. I expect them to spoof. Oh, God. I, I, I'm not expecting a big spoof for Transformers. Avatar would it's be a good one. It's spoofy enough as it is. Yeah, so, so bad. So, so bad. Effectively a 90 plus minute toy commercial at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, it's there's so much material out there from them to choose from. Uh, anyway. Pod... When podcasts dribble away to silence, you know there's something wrong with it. So, let's move on to the news. And there is a lot of that. Excellent. You have 20 minutes. Goody, goody, goody. <laughs> I'm going to start a really interesting rumour from um, Season 3 of Rebels. Yep. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. A, <coughs> there is a really huge rumour going around that the main villain for Season 3 is actually going to be Grand, Grand Admiral Thrawn. Ooh. And that Ezra's going to have a new lightsaber. Is it red? It should be red. Well, no, but the same design is closer to Obi-Wan's. Okay. So it's going more traditional route, and he supposedly has shorter hair. Yeah. Again, these are rumours. Nothing has been confirmed. Yeah, well, considering Season two's only just starting the back half, there's still plenty of time to go. I mean, we'll probably see robust stuff, obviously, at Star Wars Celebration in, yeah. in a couple of months. Actually, if I remember correctly, the preview for this week's episode coming up, Ahsoka faces off with Vader. No. 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 no you're way off. No, no. Yeah. This is the Lassard episode. Oh, yeah. Legacy of the Lassard. That's right. I don't yeah. think Ahsoka Vader's probably going to happen like end of the season. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to happen fairly late game. I want to see it, damn it! I want to see it now. Oh, oh man, there's going to be some feels and like the, the. I think the last like five episodes of the season is going to be some. It's going to be a roller coaster of emotions. Oh yeah. Um. So, so uh, Arrow uh, and Flash obviously are back, and this week, uh, Roy uh, returns to Arrow. But he's already okay. a Time Master. He was Roy. promoted from Companion. <laughs> Not Rip, Roy. Oh, I thought he said Rory. No, Roy is in Roy. Roy. Oh. Roy Harper, Arsenal. Arsenal, I'm with you. That ass. Well, whatever. So yeah, um, and uh, the episode is called Unchained. There is a plot synopsis, but I don't want to go into it. Please don't. And Flash's episode this week is called... Uh, um, uh, fast lane. And what else? Really, another speed pun. Shock. <laughs> horror well, it's gasp. it's more it's more of a re uh, reference to Wally because he's doing um street racing. So yeah. And so, so really... how do we expect Wally to get his powers? Uh, Velocity nine. What? There's a speed there's a spe speed serum that um Wells briefly made for Barry. It's called uh, Velocity Nine. Oh yeah, increases his speed. So I think he's trying. I'm guessing what's going to happen is that he's trying to find test subjects and yeah. he gives it to Wally. Fair enough. Which is also how I also think Jay gets his speed back as well. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's how he gets it. Or or. Old man running. So, yeah. yeah. So I still think if the Legends of the Tomorrow rocked up and they all faced off against Zoom, including the whole Arrow crew, everyone would die. Zoom would. <laughs> 
Zoom would have his ass kicked fairly quickly. Like, what? No! Hell yes. No. Yes, he would. No, it's... I'm sorry, no. Hey, one versus, a, what, a dozen or so? It's, I'm assured on this one. At the moment, Zoom is... No one's close to... Zoom can... Did you see what Zoom did to Barry? Oh, yeah, Zoom fucked him up. Not disagreeing. Yeah. He will... He, here's, here's what Zoom will do. He will move so quick that he will disassemble all the tech and then just wreck people to shit. Meh. One of them... Adam, Not to mention he's Adam got Harrison Wells gone traitor again. Yeah, Harrison Wells swaps sides more often than... I don't know. Harrison, but... Harrison... He only changes clothes. No, no, I've got the per yeah. no, I've got the perfect one. Harrison, Ooh. Harrison Wells uh, changes sides more than the Big Show does. The what? Wrestling reference. Uh, fuck wrestling in the heart with a stick. Harrison Wells changes sides more often than Todd the Wraith. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that one. That's what I was trying to think of. He's trying to think of his name, and I couldn't. Oh, I got it. Oh man, Chris behind all oh, that was awesome. Oh yeah, he's great. So uh, this is cool as well. Uh, Kevin Smith is going to direct a Flash episode. Yay! So he's filming it in March, which means his will be one of the um, back end episodes. Nice. No details on 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 what it is. Like no episode number or air date or title or anything. They're keeping it very under wraps. I'm thinking it's either a crossover or, or it's one of the finale episodes. If they're keeping type wraps on it, yeah, it's, it's, it wouldn't surprise me if it was a finale or a crossover. Or it might be the episode where um, Thing gets his powers. That too. Um, this is cool. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Tom Cavana uh, is teasing about Zoom's identity. Oh God. <laughs> oh, no, he, he doesn't like give it away, but someone ask him. Um, if he knows who it is, and he's like, yeah, and he's like, yeah, don't you? Oh, you don't know? You don't know who's in the suit? And his last line is, it's one of the best things we've done. <laughs> That's all he says. Sure. I just love that they're teasing it. So, yeah, see, I'd like to have a bad guy in Arrow and Flash last more than a season. <laughs> what happened? I know, I, I know it's a seasonal show, and they play it out like each season is one effective long episode. But seriously, it's getting annoying. You, the, the Stargate did it for the first couple of seasons, up until about season four or five. They did episodic, sort of no major, major overriding arcs. There was, but the, the not sort of that overt. And then after about season four or five, they started doing major long-term arcs, which paid off dividends in the end. Arrow and Flash really need to start doing that because otherwise they're just going to burn out. Yeah. So. Um, I, I, still, I still think that Zoom is Earth 2's Bar um, Barry's dad. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of predictable, but I just, just the sh I'd love to see the shock yeah. on, on Barry's face when he sees it. Well, what would be interesting is oh, um, I if they tie... Because they've already tied this series into the original Flash series, so to speak. Um, and Barry's the dude who plays Barry's dad in this series was the Flash then. Yeah, he was the original Flash. Exactly. Right. So that's why that's why it'd be really perfect if it was him. Yeah. Plus, it'd be cool to see him get back in a speedster suit. Oh yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving good. along to Netflix. Netflix. And Netflix has ordered a new sci-fi mystery series called Altered Carbon. Ooh. What can you tell me about that, or is it still a mystery? Uh, the story takes place in the 25th century, where the human mind has been digitized and can be transferred from one body to another. That's cool and terrifying. So the main character, I'm probably going to get this name wrong, uh, is uh, Takashi Kovacs. Uh, uh, it's... Not the most normal name. It's the future. Future yeah. names are future. But he's a he's an elite interstellar warrior known as an um envoy. He's been sentenced to five hundred years in prison. However, this and he now comes the twist. If he can solve a single murder in a world where technology has made death nearly obsolete, he he gets to go free. Huh? It's like he'll get a new chance at life on Earth. 
Okay. It, it's it's basically like a minority report, but like in the future. Okay. Because minority report doesn't happen in the future. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> it's similar. <sighs> so uh, the series is produced by um Skydance Television, and uh, I'm really gonna get this name wrong. <laughs> uh, Lea Later, Carlo Gretis, I think, or Carlo Gretis, uh, will write and um, what? <laughs> it's it's a really really hard name. Okay. Yeah. Give well, me, I, give, considering give me I for trying, I normally give you the hard names because my brain doesn't do words. Even while I'm even this time I'm struggling. Yeah, I know. But yeah. Um. So, so she uh, co-wrote the screenplays for Charlotte Island and Terminator Genesis. Nice. So good good that, screen. Good screenwriter. Yeah, for, for, we'll call it the 50% strike rate. After all, she did write Terminator Genesis. So yeah, looking forward to that. That no uh, release date for it, so... Yeah. But that was cool. Uh, uh, Deadpool! Deadpool news. Oh, Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool, Deadpool, Deadpool. I had to laugh at the fact that latest release. Which one? Uh, is is it is it the walnuts one? Yes. Is it... <laughs> there was a walnuts one. I think I missed that one. Was no, no, that... it's a, it's a it's a reference to man berries. Oh, that one, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I shared that, and then it, almost as soon as I shared it, Amy shared it for me. I'm like, yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. So in the UK, uh, uh the Deadpool movie gets a 15 rating. What it means is that anyone under 15 sh should not see it. And that'll stop exactly nobody. Yeah, and, and this is great. And I quote from Ryan Reynolds, and in China, it's rated Go Fuck Yourself, referring <laughs> to the film being banned in the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Which means it'll be available for digital download in China. Yeah. Also, they re um, they released a uh, uh, <laughs> this is great a um, a graphic infograph about the movie. Oh God! In the shapes of boobs. <laughs> you got the douchebags on the left, which is the villains, and you got the heroes on the right, and then Deadpool's in the middle, grabbing both of them. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? <laughs> <laughs> I love I've loved every bit of uh, this. this like, seriously. Fox has stuffed up so many superhero movies. But this is they, hilarious. They seem to have maybe finally... Admittedly, it's still two weeks away. And we will be covering it when it comes out, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, for those who don't know, I'm taking I'm taking Jody to see it on Valentine's Day and they were going up for chimichangas afterwards. Oh, God. That's the one thing I find funny. It's on Valentine's Day. Well, oh. actually, release February 11th, but... Yeah, it comes out here on the 11th, and I'm going to be watching it on the 11th. Might go watch it again on the 12th. But yeah, I have, but it's like, it's the best Valentine's date. Yeah. So, so yeah, I this is... Oh, you go, Amy. I hope you have something better planned than that. No, that's it. That's our Valentine's Day plans. Yeah. See, and that is why Stuart and Jody are perfect for each other. Because we both love Deadpool and both love Jimmy Chungas. Exactly. See, she will have said she will have said no if she didn't want to do it. Exactly. She she didn't sort of go. Ugh, no, she okay. she was like yes. <laughs> or was she like yes yes now take me? <laughs> she was like yeah. So uh, this is cool as well. Uh, keeping on the Deadpool stuff. So uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds was on the Grand Orton show recently, and apparently after that test footage leaked a couple of years ago. Yeah. The Deadpool movie got green within 24 hours. <laughs> wow. Basically, we were getting it from the t from the time it got leaked. Wow. And I'm moving back to DC, and this is uh, interesting. So there was a uh, before back before we had the Batfleck. Yeah. We had the Dark Knight, the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. That was meant to be a video game. Okay. It got cancelled, but there was there was um there is uh, footage of it and it's been put up on uh, YouTube. What's it like? Eh. Yeah, figured. Most most games that get cancelled fall into the eh category. So, 
there. Um, uh, what else is top? There's... Have you seen? There's an animated GIF online, and it was on one of the sci-fi pages that I follow. You see um, Smith trying to punch Neo, and Smith is called oh, Sim- yeah. is tagged with Captain America: Civil War, and Neo is tagged as Batman versus Superman. Yeah, and I'm like, no, that is the most inaccurate representation of how this is going to go down ever. If we're going to go with comparing two people to Batman versus Superman, we'll put Civil War, um, we'll put Batman versus Superman on Mr. Burns and Civil War on the guy that he tried to give a thrashing of a lifetime to. Eh, eh, to give a thrashing of a lifetime. Eh, eh. That will be more accurate. Yep. <laughs> so, if you haven't seen that episode of The Simpsons, how? How have you not Easily. seen it? Easily. How, how have you not seen that episode? You should. There's like seven thousand episodes. They're playing twenty four seven. You should have stumbled across it at some point, statistically somewhere. Because my parents don't like me watching it, and I've never got into it. Scarecrow, she's weird. You're weird. That. You're a perfect match. Congratulations. You've only just figured this out now. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> So, uh, moving on to Star Wars news. Yes, I haven't touched this in a while. Yeah. Yeah, Just please leave touching your Star Wars until after the podcast. This is not time to polish the swords. Oh, God. I wasn't going to go there. I'll play with the cucumber. Anyway! (laughs) Anyway! (laughs) There might... Okay, um, who am I kidding? I was going to say there might be small children listening, but I very highly doubt there's anyone listening to this. So... (laughs) But still, just move it right along, okay? <laughs> really? Just, just... Just go. Just... So glad I don't have cucumbers in my house. This re- I, I, I feel like McKay in the episode of Stargate Atlantis where he shares the body with the chick and he's just about to get separated and she takes control and kisses Carson and he's sort of walking back to the, the, sort of the place where he's going sort of, to get separated. He just to put his hand on his head. He's like, just, just go, just do it, just, just, just do it. I just, just go. <laughs> Doing his best not to remember what happened. So, who wants to know when the Force Awakens comes out on DVD? Tomorrow, yay! Oh god, I wish. No, uh, April fifth. Really? So Acor- after Nova. According to Amazon, this is in America. I don't know when we're getting, but on Amazon, April fifth, two thousand sixteen is when is when it get, is when it um. Is the official date for the Force Awakens Blu-ray DVD release? Oh, okay. I thought it'd be sooner. So did I. I'm genuinely surprised by that. Can I drop some drop something in, guys? Oh, we still got a minute. Um, sure. uh, just for the record, according to Mixer, we have lost the internet connection and it's reconnecting. Oh rip! Actually, Clip. tomorrow's release for for sci-fi is uh, Falling Skies. Oh yeah, that's why the Falling Skies come DVD is coming out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yep. And if hmm. anybody likes the DC, being we, we brought up uh, DC, um, the next Batman uh, DC Showcase cartoon comes out. Fair enough. Um, yeah, just want to shop something in here. Yep. Um, today is the day where Pokemon re-releases Mew for all of us who oh, remember it. that's right. At GameStops and EB Games EB's. and stuff. EB yep. Games, JB Hi-Fi, and Big W for those here in Australia. Okay, so I'm getting my Pokemon game, and I'm going down to friggin' EB Games when it's not 100 million degrees, so never. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's card. a card. It's a card? Yeah, you yeah. get a card with the code, and it's a mystery gift. Okay. That's kind of boring. I remember the old days when you had to go down there and, and capture it. And physically trade for it. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Anyway. This is a chance to get the original uh, legendary yeah. release back. So. so. Anyway. I think that. Aren't they doing like a month of these things? Like they're doing a heap of different random ones? They're doing they one do. every month. Yeah. yeah, leading up to the. Because of the uh, re release of um, yeah. the old, old Pokemon. Yeah. January okay. was Hooper. This month we have Mew. Alright, well. That's it. We're done. It's Bye time all. to move on. Good night. Bye. We'll catch you next time. We somehow managed to fill out an hour again. I'm still not exactly sure how we pulled that off. <laughs> uh, I was just us commenting on the news that pulled it through. So, we'll catch you guys next time. We'll see ya.
See ya. Aww. And once again, Stuart missed out on doing all of the news. <laughs> Mission accomplished. No, there's only one, one story left, so... Missed out. So.